In the world of heavy lifts, nothing moves too quickly. Take this steam drum, for example. It's going to be on its way to the Deer Creek Station soon. It's lifted off its train car and then set down on another trailer. This Goldhofer trailer has 144 tires and a capacity to carry far more weight than you'll find in this steam drum. Just ask Daryl Morris. It is not the biggest one of the generators and turbines are bigger. Uh, we actually have some of the components on the inside of the boiler itself that is bigger than this drum also. Morris and his crew with Bolt Construction have done more than a dozen big lifts for the Deer Creek Station so far. We've put a lot of rigging time, rigging studies into all these lifts. So yeah, we're ready and, and ready to hit the air with it. Once the Goldhofer rolls away with the steam drum, Bolt stays behind in Aurora, South Dakota to get ready for the next lift. The steam drum travels 16 road miles to the Deer Creek Station site. It's going to be set down in the south end of the plant site. We actually have several lay down yards. The, we have one at the north entrance to the plant and we've got another one at the south end of the plant. And the one at the north end of the plant is pretty much filled up and now we're kind of concentrating on the, the southern lay down yard. Matt Ehrman is Basin Electric's mechanical field engineer on site. He says there's lots of underground work to get done before winter. And then once all the piping and everything starts coming together, all the pipe racks built, the hersig goes up, you start connecting the hersig to the steam turbine and all that piping, that's when it's really going to pick up. The Deer Creek Station will be a combined cycle plant, unlike any other plant built by Basin Electric. Its fuel is natural gas and hot exhaust. Different than a simple cycle like Grotner Culbertson, because at Grotner Culbertson, the hot the flue gas is from the gas turbine, just are routed out the stack and that's it. That uh, in a combined cycle plant, you capture, you know, capture the exhaust, but the hot exhausts are routed through the heat recovery steam generator, the hersig, the boiler, and you make steam with that. Hence, it's a more efficient process. These are the hersig tube modules. Ehrman says they're similar to the tubes in a coal-based power plant's boiler. All 14 of these modules were picked off a train's trailer by Bolt Construction. This turbine and generator are coming into Aurora the same day the steam drum left. Bolt's crews are there to pull them in. The generator and then the turbine. Each weighs several hundred thousand pounds. And the crew with Bolt Construction starts their step-by-step -step process again. Not a lot of people in the world do what we do. Uh, heavy, heavy rigging is uh, an art. Uh, it's uh, something we do uh, uh, all our life. We, uh, again, a lot, not a lot of people can do what we do. At the Deer Creek Station, I'm Tracy Battenhausen for Basin Electric.